Oh, the clones return! Team Gilchrist, Team Sengakar, the battle of the Wicket Keepers or the Off Spinning Wicket Keeper. Both of these guys bowl some uh, right arm off spin here. So, Team Gilly taking on Team Gumar Sengakara today. We're going to the Wacker. There's a 20% chance of rain. It's a little bit overcast conditions. Would have loved for it to be a nice sunny day because I feel like the game looks really nice when it's in a bright sunny day. But for whatever reason, even though I set the clouds to being fine, it has decided to uh, give me some some strange looking things. Anyway, here's uh, Gilchrist and Sangakar at the toss of the coin in today's 5-5 game. Team Gilly's won the toss, and I reckon they're going to bat first. Surely, if you're a batting wicketkeeper, you bat first. And Team Gilly have chosen to bat. I reckon the beauty of this lineup is the fact that both players are pretty much identical in terms of what we're going to get from them. We've got two guys. That's a six off the first ball, by the way, from Adam Gilchrist. That's what you can expect to see a lot of today. Lots of power hitting. But we've got two guys who play almost identical. Both left armers, both bowl right arm off spin as well. So it's pretty much an identical battle at the moment. And it's going to be a really interesting one. I think we're going to see a lot of runs today. We know Gilchrist loves to be a power hitter. We know Sangakara also. Lots of power hitting in his arsenal as well. So it'll be a good challenge. Now, I wanted to pose the question to everyone. Well, not necessarily pose the question, but I wanted to get you guys to have your input because I'm going to be doing a Clones World Cup or a Clones Cup, Clones Cup Challenge, whatever it is, a big knockout tournament between the clones. We're going to have eight batsmen, eight bowlers, eight all-rounders, and eight wicket keepers involved. I want you guys to let me know who you think should be involved in the Clones Cup. It's going to be a 2-2 tournament. So we're going to find out who is the greatest cricket player of all time. Make sure in the comment section down below you get your entries in for that. That'll be happening uh, between the Australia-Pakistan Test Series and the Australia-New Zealand Test Series. So in that week or so gap that we've got between that, that's when we'll be having that big Clones Cup. But so far, what have we got? Gilchrist, eight runs from the first over. One ball to come. And this could go to the boundary. So 12 from the opening over. Or is it? It's going to just slowly come in and close. They're going to pick up three at the end. 11 from the first over. A good start from Team Gilchrist. Yep. Oh, good shot. That'll be four. No, it's six. Just the power of Gilchrist. Doesn't need to get much on it. Doesn't need to middle it, but it goes for six. Beautiful. Oh, little inside edge. Not taken. Just the dots. Oh, and again, another edge, but again, they'll take the dot here. Yep. Oh, quality shot from Gilchrist. Another boundary. Wait. And a dot to finish off. So not a bad over there. From Team Sangakara, there was still 10 off it, so Team Gilly will be happy. None for 21 after two overs. I have a feeling this could be the highest scoring game of Clone Wars we've seen so far. Yeah, coming back for two here again. They get back safely. Just. Very tight. But we're on track to see a 50 scored. Which I don't think we've seen scored at all in this uh, Clones Cup so far. That's all the way to the boundary for four. Obviously, there's a bit of home ground advantage here for the Gilchrists. Playing at home in WA at the Wacker ground. That's another boundary. Gilly looking good. And again, finding the gap. And this is what Gilchrist has done so well over his career. Is find gaps and get runs. Already a big over this one. There's been 12 from the first four deliveries. And we think Gilchrist might be eyeing a 60 plus score. that would have a run rate of about 12 going for it. That one over the top four again. Not sure why the field hasn't been spread a little bit more than it has. And this time he'll take the single. Retain the strikes. The two Gilchrists firing along at the moment. None for 38 after the first three overs. They are on fire. Yeah. Oh, there's a wicket. Again, we're not sure if we've seen it. But I think there is a wicket here for Team Sangakara. Oh, he's just smashed it straight into Team uh, Kumar's gloves. And Sangakara gets the first wicket. One for 38, Team Gilchrist. Yep. Oh, over the top of cover. That's four runs. 
Oh, and this time with a much more conventional drive over cover for four. And this Gilchrist team now, they are closing in on a very big score. Just four runs away from bringing up a 50, which we've yet to see in this Clones Cup, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we've seen it once, but I think 50 might have been a target. I reckon 49's the top score we've seen, and I reckon it was either Smith or Coley that did that. This one from Gilly down the ground. Has it got the distance? It's six. Just a classic shot straight down the wicket. Back over the bowler's head. And that's six runs for Team Gilly. Oh, now over mid-wicket. Again, is it over the top? It is. Four again. So four overs, one for 56. This is a massive score brewing. And the reality is we've seen such an even contribution across the three batsmen so far. 20 from Gilchrist. 18 from Gilchrist. And that would mean we would have seen another 18 from Gilchrist as well. So very, very even spread of run scorers across the team. That one through mid-wicket and taken. So we look at this one. It went low. It went fast. There wasn't enough height on it to get it over the top of mid-wicket. And Gilchrist has to go. Team Gilly lose their second two for 56. Well, four balls to go. There's a boundary. 60 now up for Gilchrist. This is massive. Now I wonder what's going to be a par score here. We've got both players play the spin very well. Everyone brought in. The whole field brought in. Strange decision. Still should be saving boundaries. Team Sangakara. That one goes for another four. So back to back boundaries here. And with two balls to go. Team Gilchrist eyeing a 70 score. Team Sangakara has the field all on the inner circle. So it's just a strange field placing. But uh, in the end of the day... It's going to be a dot ball off that last one. So Team Gilchrist, 2 for 68 from their five overs. Jeez, it's going to need to be a mammoth effort from Team Kumar Sangakara in order to get the job done here today. Lots of sixes from Team Gilly. But let's get into the second innings. Here we can see Sangakara and Sangakara coming out to open the bats. Adam Gilchrist to open. Why is he bowling left arm mediums? He's a right arm off spinner. Does nobody know this nonsense? Whoever created this Gilchrist has got it wrong. Oh, I might need to redo this video. Oh, this is... I'm spewing. He bowls right arm off spin. I'm confident of that. Oh, well. Guess we're going to have to see this gilly bowl left arm mediums. Which does frustrate me a lot. All right, what if I just make a scenario? All right, I have officially changed all of the gillies to be right arm off spinners. All right, so we have reset the Team Gilchrists to have right arm off spin as their bowling. Thank goodness for that. We've set the scenario up that they need 69 from the final five overs. It is, of course, a 5-5 five, five encounter. Let's see what Gilchrist has in store, and he's got a wicket first ball. Oh, beautiful stuff from Gilly. The perfect start. Yeah, so what a start from Team Gilly. Two dots to start things off, including an early wicket. We know Gilchrist got a wicket in the IPL off his first delivery. And right now, his bowling is proving to be a slight difference. This one from Sangakara is all the way for six. Although it looked a bit strange at the end there, didn't it? Over the top four. And there's still a couple of balls to go. Now, remember, this is the biggest target we've seen set in a Clones Clash. A target of 69. 68. No, 69 is the target. 68 was the score from Team Gilly. If it was to be chased down, it would be the highest chase in Clones War history. Swept away for a dot. 11 from the opening over. Pretty sure that's exactly... What Team Gilly did as well. They had 11 off their first over. Yeah. And Sangakara just tucking it away. They should be able to get maybe a couple, but the striker is just a little bit slow there. 12 from 5. They've got the one man who scored all the runs so far. This Kumar yet to get off the mark. He tucks this one away, and it's a dot. Got to play more aggressively than that. You've got to get 57 runs in the next 22 balls. It's at least... It's about 13 and over required for victory. You can't be hitting shots like this. That's three dots in a row. Or I think one off the first three balls of the over. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Swept four. 
That's what you need. More of that, please, for Team Sangakara. Oh, so that's a great finish to the over. Just five from it for Team Gilly. And that over could be just about enough to get them over the line. 53 required from the last 17 deliveries. It's a mammoth task now. And it seems like it is going to be too much for Team Sangakara. They almost need a boundary every single delivery from here on in. 15 fours is 60 runs, so... It's going to need to be thereabouts. Shots like this aren't getting it done. And another good start to the over here from Team Gilly. Just the three. Or just the one run from the first three balls. There's a boundary. That's what's needed. But there just hasn't been enough of them so far for Team Sangakara. They're going to need a few fours, a few sixes. And they're going to need 20 plus per over for the last couple of overs. Over the cover. Field up four runs it found the gap so it's 44 required from the last two overs that's 22 and over needed what does Kumar Sangakara have up his sleeve straight down the wicket is it big enough it's falling and it's been caught remarkably oh what a piece of fielding Boy, the gillies down the ground. We're going to have to see this on the replay screen. It was about to carry over the rope. One fielder sort of knocked it back in. And the other one just took a catch as simple as you like. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That is extraordinary. Bold group, Gilchrist, caught Gilchrist, assisted by Gilchrist. It was just a team piece of fielding. And now it is four per delivery required. And with that dot, you think Team Gilly has got this game in the bag. Still go back to that extraordinary piece of fielding just we saw moments ago. The ball was carrying, there's another wicket as well. But the ball was carrying over the fence for all intensive purposes. And just the Gillies with some quick smart thinking on the boundary got it done. Another wicket falls here with a court behind. Of course... Both these guys are very good wicket keepers in their own right, so they should have godlike keeping abilities. Sangakara goes for a duck, 3 for 25. And Team Gilly on their way to victory. So the equation is officially out of reach. With 39 required from the final over, that might be 6. It is. But unless there's a couple of wides or... No balls. It is going to be very difficult for Team Sangakara to win the game. 33 from the last five balls. Oh, there's a wide. Well, that'll help. Wait, that's not a wide. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> what is this umpire doing? That ball didn't even hit the pitch. Gee, we will have a look at that on the replay in just a sec as Sangakara hits another six. But let's go back just a moment. The previous delivery... Not called a wide by the umpire. Does not even bounce on the pitch. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a wicket. So, Team Gilly gets four. Sangakara trying to reverse it, sweep this one. It ends up knocking him on the pad. And good catch taken by Gilchrist in slip. Four for 42, Team Sangakara. The other thing we will point out is we can't discredit what's been done here. By Team Sangakara, 42 runs is a pretty solid effort. This one in the air should be six, and it is. But 48 runs in these five overs is a very solid effort. We haven't seen it from too many other players in the Clones Wars. Clone Wars, Clones Cup. There's the fifth and final wicket off the last delivery. Team Sangakara all out for 48. So we take a look at the scorecard here. For Team Sangakara and Team Gilchrist, the first innings, uh, you might notice there's nothing really there. It's because we had to make it into a scenario, and I couldn't be bothered putting everything in. I just wanted to get it in. So 2 for 68 was Team Gilchrist scoring that first innings. We saw an even spread of runs across that sort of squad there. don't think anyone really scored more than 20 runs across Team Gilchrist. It's a very even spread uh, across the four batsmen there. And Team Sangakara, you know, the 13 runs and over just proved too much. For them to be able to get it done, 5 for 48, or all out for 48, I suppose. You can only get 5 wickets in a 5-5 encounter. So they'll be disappointed with that.
Team Sangakara falling short by 20 runs. But Team Gilchrist, Team Gilly getting the job done. Very happy about it too. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And until next time, I will see you all later. Goodbye.